Hello everyone and welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. All right, it's been uh, quite a while since I did any sort of YouTube series. This game actually caught my eye. Been wanting to play it, so I figured, you know what? Let's try and do another YouTube series, shall we? So, I honestly don't know much about this game. I haven't even really watched much of YouTube. All I know is kind of the whole building automation sort of thing right up my alley. So, we're going to take a look at it. Let's read a quick synopsis here from Steam. Let's see. You are a space engineer in charge of a project launched by the Space Alliance Cosmo, tasked with a massive undertaking, constructing, Di constructing Dyson Spheres, a megastructure that would orbit around a star, harnessing all its power and energy to produce the energy that humanity needs. Only a few decades ago, the Dyson Sphere were considered a hypothetical, impossible invention. But now it's in your hands. Will you be able to turn a backwater space workshop into a galaxy-wide industrial production empire? All right. I honestly don't know if there's any sort of story to this. This game's still early access, so I don't know if there's any sort of like story or end mission or anything like that. Um, I also don't know if there's like AI. Is there enemies or is this just purely like a satisfactory sort of a thingy where all you're doing is building just to build and you kind of create whatever you can think of and do fun projects? So I guess we will find out. So let's jump in here. Oh, got a cluster. This game is procedurally generated, so I guess we'll just stick with that cluster. Um, Number star 64, sure, resource multiplier. We'll just leave that all standard. I guess this is what our little solar system is gonna look like, our star cluster. So yeah, and I guess, can we pick where we, what was that? Cannot change start system. Okay, so I guess we're starting here, mission start. Let's go. Oh, what is this? What is this? We're cruising. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time? I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Okay, so we got a little tutorial bot. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not landing at the star, right? Are we going to an actual planet first? I'm guessing we're going to go to a planet and we need to put a Dyson Sphere around that star. Please drive the space capsule. Oh, I gotta drive this? Are you kidding me? Wait, how's this work? So, mouse moves it. I can turn. Space bar goes up. That's weird. Shift? Not do anything. Speed up. Alt goes down. Space goes up. And then A and D goes left and right. Oh, we can turn. Some weird controls, man. Oh, oh. Autopilot kicking in. Right, all right, all right. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks like I saw a little mining node there, maybe. Guessing these big rocks sticking up are nodes. Those little orange and blue crystals are probably some sort of resource as well. Curious if this game has like tech trees or how this is all going to work. Ooh, this I'm a little dude. Nice. Can I jump? Oh, I can't jump. Can I hover? Okay. So you got click to move or WSD movement. Nice, nice, nice. What is this? Background. Oh, I don't care about the background too much. Right -click on what? Recycle. What? What? I'll try to recycle the space. Okay, right click it. Aha. Uh -huh. What are we getting? Five of that. What is that? You can use the same operation to collect resources such as trees, gravel, etc. Aha. Uh -huh. Very, very RTS like. Right click to interact. Shift right click to do multiple things. Okay, so those were hydrogen fuel rods. Looks like we got iron ingots, plant fuel. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Lower right corner. So we got details display. 
There's the inventory replicator. Oh, so this is how we build stuff, looks like. Mech panels, so that's my bot. You could probably upgrade this, I'm guessing, with maybe move speed and probably jump jets, things like that. Stats. Hey, tech tree. Oh, boy. Nice inventory. So what do we got? Right click to split items. Hold shift to pick up multiple items. Hold control to pick up all items in the same type. So left click takes items, split items. Shift left click. What does that mean? Oh, I see. If there's multiple stacks. And then what was it? Control left click takes all items of the same type. What does that mean? Okay. At the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. So what do I need? This? I need 10 magnetic coils. I'm guessing I have 10 of those. Oh, no, no. It's that is what I need. I can just activate it. So that's like my current goal. Got it. So I guess this there would be an end to this. Maybe you get this. Yeah, mission complete. All right. So we got an end goal. Go, go, go. All right, so what is this? What is the Dyson Sphere? So the Dyson Sphere is just a big old, as far as I'm aware, it's just a giant thing that can orbit a star and use all the, the heat, the radiation, all the different kinds of energies that come off that star and, you know, recycle that energy and use it for your own purposes. So that's what the Dyson Sphere is. Gather Resource Command Basic Operations Guide. Space Key to Flight and Alt to come down. Yeah, the resource command, right click, okay. So how do we do this? We need one copper, what is that? Copper ingot plus magnet, so how do we build this? How do we build this? Is it in here? Aha. Uh -huh. And then we can build 10. Okay, it's building, it's building, it's building. Oh, we ran out. So what is this? Is this copper? It is copper. All right. Oh, that's a big vein. I thought it was just going to like take it once and that's it. Hey, research complete. You have unlocked a new automatic mining machine, which will automatically collect ores for you. Of course, this capacity is limited. You may wish to transport these minerals to the smelting facility automatically. What smelting facility? What is this? Core energy. Pick it up in the inventory or select or it on gathering. gathering of uh -huh. menu to build it. Oh, how does this? Oh, I see. I see. I see. To rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be. Okay, so it does look like this game does operate on a grid system. Try holding down the shift key. So I want to get as many as I can. So it looks like we can get. Oh, 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 there it is. It built it that fast, are you kidding me? It needs power. And then you can shift copy. Oh nice. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities. What's the power coverage area? Oh I see power. So Tesla Tower, what is this? Power transmission facility. Can extend the power range of your power grid, okay? And then this is the wind turbine that produces the power. So that's the power range, I'm guessing. So if I just plop that here, it won't reach. But then if I do a Tesla coil. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply. So does it, it probably doesn't need to be in the blue thing. I guess as long as that line connects. So if I were to put it here, the line connects and it should, yep. And it powers it. All right. Am I charging? Nice. Okay, so then this is core energy. It shows the, me the Mecca's core energy, which is consumed for activities such as move, gathering, construction. Energy can be replenished by burning fuel. Depletion of energy will restrict all Mecca activities. How do I burn fuel? Is it this? Plant fuel. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I click this? Fuel chamber. Aha! So I can split this, right click, 
right click. Can I just throw three in there? Aha. There we go. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, let's go and gather this. I'm guessing this is iron. Lack of item. What am I missing? Oh, I need iron. So I guess it gave me this stuff for free last time? Oh, I see. We're gonna have to gather some of this ourselves. Get some iron ore. I wonder, can we build... Double click to open replicator. Is there an easy way to see, like... If I have enough resources to build this. So I have that. I don't have these rings. What are these rings? Okay, it is just iron. So I should have enough to build that. Um, where is it? Produce? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So now I should have this in my inventory. And then I can plop it. Can I get all of them? Ooh, don't think I can get all of them. I can get five of them. Maybe from the top. Nah, I think we can only get these five. So then we need a Tesla coil. None of items, what? All right, how do I gather this mining machine? Guess I just click it. Take that. Yep. Got it, got it, got it. Hit, hit, hit. So I probably need more of this guy. Not enough. Oh, you have to produce it in here. I thought you could just click it and it would like produce, but it looks like you have to open this, produce it, and then you can plop down. Now I have one. So now if I throw that here. Oops. All right, let's just clear all this out. I don't know what these rocks give. Logs and plant fuel, okay. Here's what the rock gives. Organic crystal. It's gonna give me stone. All right, so we might as well just burn this, I guess. We got 58 megajoules from that. All right, come here. So I click that. So now we obviously wanna open the tech tree and go for something else. Upgrades, what? What? Technologies and then upgrades, get out of here. So mecha core, plus 40 megajoules. Able to view vein distributions on the planet. What the heck is this game? Oh my Lord. Vein utilization. Minus 6% ore consumption per minor product, plus 10% mining speed. Don't even know what that is. Electromagnetic magnetic matrix, what? Oh, that's where it is. Basic assembling process. Automatic metallurgy. Maybe we just go top to bottom? Basic logistics. Conveyor belt and sorter. Is this the smelter? So this is smelter. So we probably want the smelter first and then the sorting and the conveyors. Because obviously what's the point of conveyors if you can't throw it anywhere? And then from there, probably then goes into some of this. This seems very satisfactory-ish, just in a new format. Let's go for this. So I should then be able to open my inventory. No, what's the build menu? Replicators F, there it is. So we need nine of these boys. Produce. And then I'm guessing this number is how many we could produce total? I'm confused. Wait, 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 I'm confused. I'm making this. How many of these do I have? Oh, that produces two at a time. I see, I see, I see. Can I cancel this? There we go. Wait, why is it making 27 now? Oh, no, no, no. That's how many I can make, but this makes two at a time. Got it. 
So I need to do seven more. So we need to do four to get to eight. And then now we need circuit boards. Got it. And this is two. So neat. we need to make five of these. I got it. I got it. I got it. How come I'm not regenerating power here? Oh, oh, it's because I'm using the replicator, which is on the mech. Ha. Oh. So now I should make these 10. Nice. And these will all get submitted. It looks like, what is this? Oh, that's just a technology panel. Got it. And I guess we should do upgrades. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know how to make all this. I guess we could do this one. Cue that up. Mecha's core insufficient. Okay. Automatic metallurgy. Unlock the smelter. It will automatically smelt base materials such as iron and copper ingots for you. To achieve full automation, you need to use a sorter to automatically put the ores on the conveyor belt into the smelter. Power grid establishment guide. Oh my god, there's so much. What else do we got? For pro production facilities to work, they need to connect to the grid, and there must be power generation facilities in the grid to provide electricity. Duh. There are power generation facilities, power consumption facilities, power storage facilities, and power transmission. Okay, makes sense. So you got wind turbines, you got your factories, you got batteries of some sort, and then you got like the Tesla coils. Got it, got it. Power generation of the power grid is greater than the power consumption. The power consumption facilities will run at full load. And the accumulators will store the surplus energy with a certain power. The power generation of the grid is less than the consumption. The accumulators will firstly discharge with a certain power to fill the power gap. If still not, if still not to fill the power gap, after all the accumulators are automatically discharging to the max power, the power consumption facilities will slow down work speed. Okay, it makes sense. Makes sense. So it's not enough power, they'll throttle themselves so that way they can keep running. Once the satisfaction of the power grid is less than 10%, the power grid will trip. At the same time, the production facilities will stop. Okay, so as long as we keep it above 10%, it seems like everything will run just at a far less capacity. In the early stage, you can use wind turbines to generate electricity. Wind turbines use wind power to generate electricity and do not need to consume fuels. Very practical power generation facility for early development. Besides, different plants have different wind energy ratios. Wind turbines come with a supply area, but this area is very small. If you want to expand the power grid's supply range, you need to use the Tesla power tower to transmit and supply power. Different power transmission facilities have different connection lengths and supply areas. Okay. Okay, okay. You can always display the power network when... The, when Network when turn on the power network and the display. Okay, and the display hood. So how do I do this? Power. Oh, okay. I kind of. Maybe we just leave that on. So what is this? Build warning. Oh, build warning tells me that hey, there's a problem with this. That's because it's full. Building icon. What is this? Guiding light. Space navigation. Okay. We'll just leave all that on for now. Um, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. So I, I honestly probably always want to stand on a power grid. So I'm charging a little bit and then let's open the replicator. So we need a bunch of these. How many do we have currently? None. So let's make 20. Can I type? Can't type. Oh, you actually have to click. Can I build a smelter? Oh, I should be building a smelter. Smelter. So how does this work? Um, well, this is clearly going to come out here. So maybe we just put this over here and then maybe we put one over here as well. You built a smelter. All right. You can smelt basic materials such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products to get <laughs> and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Okay. So let's get another Tesla coil. I wish that, I wish you could just click this and if you had the items to make like everything in the chain, it would just make it. I wish that was a thing. Maybe that's an upgrade. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
We have a building without a recipe set. Wait, what is it? What? You have a building without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After selecting the recipe, you can use the... Oh, what the heck? I don't... I don't get it. What? Okay, well, let's put that there. I think... And then also, let's get the technology tree and let's get... The logistics. Cue that up. So if I throw in that, oh, I see. Got it. It was saying put the recipe in here and then you can copy it. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe. Ah, so if I had multiple smelters, I can just hover over them and use the other arrow key to then copy it. So I don't have to manually go in and click copper, copper, copper. I could just quickly tap that key and be good to go. All right. So then can I feed this? Okay. So that only holds 20. So then this one, I want to set to, Oh, no, it's this one. Oh, let me, let me paste it. Aha. Yeah. You just hover over it, hit that button. But since we don't want that, we want instead iron. And then is there a radius to this? Can I throw it from over here? I can. Is there a max distance? Oh, I see. Yeah, there is a max distance. Pretty far though. Yeah, the resource command. We already know about that. Build mining machines and vein coverage. You can hold shift to ignore snapping. Good to know. Each covered vein produces a basic capacity of 30 per minute. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now we need... I'll take that. And then let me go get this iron. And let's always make sure we put more in there. Why is there multiple stacks like this? Oh, is that the thing where it's like shift, control click, alt click? Aha, yeah, I think alt click does it. No, maybe not. Okay, you right click and you can select the specific amount you want. That's good to know. All right, what do we need for this? We need some circuit boards and some gears. Circuit boards. How many we need? 10 and 10. So let's make five. And then gears we need. What did I say? 10 and 10? Should be good. Yep. A 40 plus mega jewels. All right. I should be building more of these towers. There's got to be a way just to be able to click this. And then it auto produces. Without having to du double click it to open it and then produce. And then let's open up our mech. We need some fuel. Burn it. And then we'll have some conveyors. Definitely need more power online though. Definitely, definitely. Hey, Galloway, you have unlocked automatic logistics, conveyor belt, and the sorter. Use auto you can use them to automatically transport the ores, gather in the mining machine for smelting, or to load them into storage. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full. So I guess let's just build these in a line. Should probably the piled up ores from the mining machine. Let's build a bunch of these. We're gonna need power. Might as well. To the smelter for automatic smelting. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, so we need conveyor belt, sorter, and what was the other one? Storage. Got it. So I probably don't need a sorter for this, right? Oh God, I'm building a lot of stuff. I need to keep manually supplying these for now. Give me that. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Got to take it out of here. That's right. 
Throw it in there. So how do I look at my power grid again? Just click it. 73% satisfaction. So obviously we want that at 100%. All right, once we get some conveyors, we'll be good to go. Wait, this is low on power? What, are you kidding me? 38% satisfaction. Consumption is the orange, lose generation. Yeah, we need some power. Not really looking at the spacing right now. We're just going. Got it here. There we go. All right. That should be plenty of power. There we go. Although nothing's really running. All right. Conveyor belts. I need to get some conveyor belts. You know what? Let's also do another task. Fluid storage, high efficiency plasma control. Electromagnetic drive. You know, let's do basic assembly. And then, let's see, let's see. What was I doing? What was I doing? Sorting, that's it. Three. We need these guys. Oh, I give, give me 20 automatically. All you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow. No way. Up one level. Oh my God, there's like height. Get out of here. After the conveyor belt is lifted, press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt. That's awesome. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Use the down key to drop it. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height. If you don't want the conveyor belt to attach. So how do I know if this is attaching? So if I just do that, is that going to attach? It doesn't. Okay, so do I need this then? Transport cargo from conveyor belts into facilities. Got it. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargo between Like that? It will automatically transport them as well. Nice. And the receiving facility are bridged. So I need that like that and then this guy right there and then I need storage so let's get two of these all right we got our two so I guess I should just needs foundation support what does that mean oh oh it was gonna build on water that's what it was Okay, so there's copper. You built a storage, which can be used to and store then you can manually store or use the sorter. Throw another one there. Stock the cargo. So that goes there. And then that goes into there. So we're storing copper and we're storing iron. Nice. So how much power are we using? Oh, we are we're golden. So the only thing is clearly wait. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta take it out. Duh. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Lack of item. Oh, oh, oh. What am I missing? What am I missing? Give me one of those. There we go. All right. Got some copper in there. So now I should be able to take these. So now what do I do with all this copper that I'm holding on? I guess I just have it. There's a sort button. I need a sort. Oh, I got another... I got another thingy, another turbine. All 
All right, how's our power? How am I still using power? Wait, what am I doing that my core energy is going down? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's using my core energy? I'm so confused. Well, let's gather up these trees. Yeah, what is using my core energy? Because so far, I'm not building any of this. That's a little odd. Oh, wow, that is awesome. Is it because I'm in that circle? I honestly don't know. All right, so we need eight more of these. And then nine of these, so we can do ten. All right, let's throw these in here, I guess. And let's throw... We don't have iron. We have another smelter, though. So I guess we want another smelter in here? So how do I do this? Can this split off? What will this do? Oh, okay. So we can't do that. Can I do this? Basic assembling process. Unlock the assembler... Assembly machine. Oh, no, I didn't read it. Can process iron and copper ingots into more advanced products. Okay. So if I take this, produce one of these, can I split this? Like, can I have one go there? Oh, I'm going to need another one. And then can I have that go there? Collides with other objects. What are you talking about? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Then we need the recipe, so... That arrow. There we go. There we go. So now it should be dividing 50-50. Oh my god. Logistics. Okay, okay, okay. This is... This is gonna get crazy fast. Oh, assembler. I just kind of want to build this somewhere. You know, let's build it down here. Also, we're going to need more Tesla coils. Just build six. Okay, so what can this make? This can make circuit boards. The heck is this? Magnetic coils. And the gears. So we're probably going to need three of these. One for each one. Alright. I am going to need a lot. Of this stuff. Let's actually look at upgrades. See if there's anything else we can unlock that will help us. Like a core. Mechanical frame. Move speed. Inventory. Construction drones. Like a sail. Solar sail life? Solar ray? Oh, I can't build that yet. Sorters. What is this? Okay, we can't do any of that yet. Uh, let's see. Smelting purification? I guess we should just get everything in the first tier. Look at that. All right, let's take these. I wonder, do I need to be holding this stuff? So if I don't do that, can I still produce? 
components. I can't. I can. I can't. Oh, wow. So you don't want iron plates for this. What about this? I can only produce one? What's my inventory look like? So now if I take a hundred of these, can I now produce a lot of those? I can. Okay. So it does depend on what you're actually holding. Oh boy. So we're going to need a lot of this. Let's just, can I drop this? I don't, I don't want to actually produce this. Okay, there's that. We're going to need a bunch of sorters. Let's build like 10 of them. And then we're going to need assemblers. At least two. So then how much is this producing? Oh god, we're going to have to math it. No, I don't want the conveyor belt. Stop it. This is producing 150 per minute. And this does what? 30? 60 a minute. So 60, 120, so this isn't enough. Oh, and also this one's not even running because it's not connected. So I want that there, that to go there. Then we can build that to that. And that to that. So that should give this going a little bit quicker. And how much do these veins do? It said 30 per, right? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. So if I wanted to do this correctly, I would eliminate one of these veins out of the smelter so that way it's an even 120. And then I'd get another mining machine that does the other 60 separately. I wonder, can I put multiple miners on the same nodes? I'm guessing you could, but then they would just run out quicker. And then how much is this taking? 180. So this does need one more smelter. Nope, that's not it. Smelter, here we go. What? What? Need iron. Give me iron. Guess we'll just build 10 of these. More smelters. Build two smelters there. And eventually we'll need one more for the iron side as well. Why is my power still going down? Oh, I am constructing, duh. Ooh, that is taking a while. Um, more research. Can I build faster? Drive engine energy circuit. What is this? Increase the recover speed of core energy. Oh, higher it converts fuel into energy. Okay. Move speed. Is there something that lets me construct faster? Doesn't look like it right off the bat. Technologies, what else we got? So we're doing this one. Actually, I thought I was building those already. Oh, here they come. Oh, wait, did I use them? The heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to these? All right, it's going, it's going. So let's get our smelters here. So can I deconstruct this? Right click, deconstruct. What is this? OK, 
I deconstruct this. How do I deconstruct? Shift right click. Shift left click. Oh, oh, oh. That's construct mode. How do I bulldoze? Oh, dismantle. X. Do I get the items back? You've unlocked the matrix lab, or rather the center brain connector, and you use it to upload the matrices to the center brain to obtain technology. Ew. So let me take that offline. So what I want now is smelters. Smelter, smelter. And now I have to evenly distribute this. Here, let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Oh, whoops. My bad, my bad. So I'm gonna go like this. That goes down. And then we wanna build this this way. And then I guess this that way. Right? That should evenly do it. And if I click this, go to copper, copy this recipe, paste it, paste it. Hey, oh, I see, I see. It actually matters what direction you do this in. So I gotta click this side first and go that way. I'm guessing these take one at a time, like it evenly skips. I honestly can't tell. Oh wow, we're still using a lot of power. Holy crap. Use a matrix lab to produce matrix and use multiple matrix labs to simultaneously research a technology. What? What? All right, let's keep doing this. So that's copper ingots. What do copper ingots make? Is there a way to see what everything makes? Copper ingots can then go into this. How do I make this? That's the only way to make that is just pure iron. Oh Lord. So if anything right now, I probably just want to combine all this and store it. I guess we'll go like this. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. We'll go out to that. Out to that. Out to that. Okay. And then storage. Oh, I guess we could have piped it all in to one. Well, I guess it still works. And I can just take this down. Take that down. Take that down. It looked like it had three inputs. Yeah, it does. Cool. There you go. Oh, those need power. That's a goil. There you go. So there's a question. How quick do the conveyor belts go? Six cargo a second. Is that like per line? What is that? Oh my god. The math. It's gonna break my brain. Alright. I was gonna say, why is my power still going down? But we're good, we're good. So I might... So how much is this doing? 120. Oh, we're low on power. That's why. Can't quite keep up. Does one more help? Can't even tell. It's still going. All right. Technology. Electromagnetic magnetic drive. Sure. That needs the matrixes. All these need matrixes. Okay. 
No, let's just go in order. And then we need this matrix lab. The heck is this? Sure, let's just build it there. Matrix lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You could upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. What? Whoa, whoa wait, what? What is this? Matrix mode is to produce matrix. Research mode is to research tech with the required matrix. What? Select mode. So do I want to use matrix mode, which is on the left, or research mode, which is on the right? One of the five basic resource codes that keep the center brain simulating. Foundation of all scientific and technological research. What? So I guess I need a magnetic coil. Ah, yeah. So you pump in a magnetic coil and a circuit board into this and you get a matrix. And then if you research. Ah, and that's how you feed that. Or you can do it from inventory. Which can I even make that? You can. But that way you can auto research. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's put that there. Too close to another wind turbine. Get out of here. What's our power at? Oof. Not good, not good. I need more power generation. Um, power, power, power. Nope, I don't need that. I need this. Oh, of course, gotta get, gotta get our, our iron ingots. And how do I make these? Oh, these stupid things. Wow, so I really do need a facility up online just to make that. We'll just gather it real quick. So if anything, I feel like I want to move this because this is 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, which is not evenly divided if these take 60 at a time. All right. Where is that at? So I want more power. Where's my power? Where's my power? I'm clicking everywhere. So I need these guys. Give me these. Definitely, definitely, definitely need more power. So yeah, this game is very, very satisfactory esque. I guess another way is probably Factorio. I've never played Factorio, but it seems like a mix between in terms of like this is a lot more 3d and whatnot but just with like the view and everything it feels very factorio so they kind of this game kind of seems like it's a mix of both potentially which i never played factorio and i really really do dig satisfactory so we'll see how this game keeps on progressing but i think that's gonna do it here for the first episode so i'm gonna head out and then i will record more we'll get episode two underway and then we'll, we'll figure out how far we can go into this research tree so until then take it easy everyone